Hi everyone, today I will be explaining how to use Power BI to create a star rating visual with DAX. Um, I'm aware there is a visual, a custom visual in the App Store that you could just drag into your um, visual or import into your visual and you can use that as a star rating visual. Um, however, I think the limitation to that one is that it gives you only um, a scale of five for your rating. Um, you have more flexibility when you use DAX because you can then extend um, your scale to 10 or, or you know, as required. Um, so for this one, I have, I need to give a shout out to Data Mozart. That's where I got this idea from, but then I added my own extra bit on top of it so yeah do go to this website if you want more information around this um i'm just doing a video on it as well as um adding some extra bits on top of it okay so let's get to it um so i have my power bi report here to show you how that works so um so what we're doing here is we have several reports and we've done a survey and we are rating the report against um, three different um, measures or metrics. So we have how well do users interact with the report, um, how do they rate the usability of the report and how highly are they um, likely to recommend that report. Um, so that's the metric we are using. And um, so, um, as you can see here as well, you have um, a scale of 8 to 10. Here you have um, 5 to 5 and here you have um, 7 to 3. And you also see the um, emoji emojis just also giving you a kind of um, um, rating as well, just, just by looking at it. Okay, so let's go into the Power BI file. Also, what I've done with the Power BI file so that it's easy to follow is I've literally just numbered it so that it's easy to follow. So based on the steps of what you need to do, because you do require um, a few steps if you will be um, using the star rating for more than one um metric yeah okay so the first thing we want to do is let's go into the file so we have our report rating file um, which has the response dates um the report name and the um metrics so we have the usability where you where the users could key in yes or no which is why or n likelihood to recommend, interactivity, and just the last field that gives um, one by default, which helps us count the total number of surveys. So we can analyze the surveys against the response and use that against the metrics to know, um, to, 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 to give it a star rating really. Okay, so that's, that's what our data looks like. So of course, um, we will be creating a relationship between the response date and the date table. So if we go to manage relationships, you've seen what I've done there. I've just done response rate to the date um, table so that we can slice and dice that by the other metrics within the date table. Okay, so that's done. And now let's start creating our measures. So here you see the first thing I did was I created the total number of surveys. Um, it's really just a sum of the field surveys. I mean, what we have there really by default is one. So if you sum that, it's really the total count of the rules. So that's total surveys. Um, the next step is counting the total number of yeses I have for the different metrics. So I've just labeled that as the second step, which is two. And that's just saying, um, using your calculate function against your total surveys and saying where interactivity is why, and really just replicating that for the two other measures, that's usability and recommendation and rating, which is what I've done here, okay? And here, 
Great. And now that we have the total count of the positive responses, and then now we go to find the percentage of the positive response. OK, so that's quite straightforward. Again, just the total number of um, yes is divided by the total number of surveys. So responses, positive response to the surveys. I've done that for interactivity, that and that. And now this is where it gets interesting because what we're trying to achieve is um, these stars. So we'll get there in a minute. So the next thing we want to do is uh, the step four. Um, you will notice here that I have formatted this measure to percentage, right? That's it there. Um, so these are the percentages right there. So now I'm going to create the same measure, um, but it will be in the decimal form. There's a reason for this. So if you just follow me. Um, so the next one is really a replica of the step three, but then we are formatting it as um, a decimal. Um, and really, you, you, you can choose to format it as decimal here, just leave it as general, because once you divide it, that's um, decimal by default anyways. And that's what we have here. I've just put just one of the, the measures here. So this is what it looks like, the decimal form. OK, so that's that. And really, like I said, it's a replica of this, only without the percentage format. OK, so we have that, we have that and we have that. OK, so the next thing we want to do is, um, for instance, let's take likelihood to recommend and that's the decimal version. So what we want to do then is multiply it by 10. Um, so we have that there and that's the decimal that's the reason why we've had to use the decimal version because we want to get the like an estimate count of the yeses if you call it and then duplicate the stars and there is a function we use to duplicate the star which is a dax function and i think that's really the main um, the main piece of work here. All these other ones are just really creating measures and following the whole process down. But the real um, function that does the trick is the measure that helps you to replicate a character by the total number of times you've put within that function. Okay, so what we're doing here is really just multiplying it by 10 so we can get the whole number part of the metric which is of the percentage, if that makes sense. So here we must find that multiplying that by 10. So for instance, if it was 0 0.7, when we multiply it by 10, we have 7.2. And we would then just take that seven and replicate seven stars across. So that's that's where we're going with this. So we've done that, multiply by 10, multiply by 10, and this is where we begin to create the stars. OK, so that's the step six. And this is the function It's called REPT. And um, this is the um, uni chart for the yellow star. I mean, it's up to you again at this point, which is why I think I like this DAX approach, because you could decide to use um, a different kind of um, of visual for your star if you decide and just change the unichar and just replicate that using the function. And we have now put the, the multiplied version of our metric, which would be the integer, right? Which would be, for instance, in this case, seven. So what's going to happen now is um, the star is going to be replicated seven times in the instance of um, customer profitability, likelihood to recommend, we multiply that by 10, it gives us 7.2. Um, we get the int version of that because we've um, multiplied that yeah, by 10. We get the int version of that and pop it into this function. And that's it there. So that's our, our yellow star. And we're saying replicate this whatever that value is, and in this case, it's seven, 
right? And then the good thing with this as well is that it's quite intelligent because what's actually been passed through here is a decimal, but it's um, intelligent to round up, right? So if it's 7.5, it will make it um, 8. So that, that that's another good part um, to this function. Okay, so we, we use that function for the other two metrics, so likelihood, we've done that, and usability. Now, this is the other part where it gets interesting as well, where, um, for instance, I have the first part, yeah, which is um, the, um, the visible part where we have the actual number of yeses, but it's also good to see what, 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 what was the context of this? So seven against what? So we're saying seven of 10, five of 10, eight of 10, right? And that's why we then get the inverse of the, um, the, um, the first part, which is the integer and really subtract um, one from it, um, which is like getting the inverse of it, that's that's what that is, okay? So, and that's the formula for that, which is this version, which is the first part, which is the integer, and then we concatenate that still with a star, but now not the yellow star, so a unit char for this um, smaller um, size of star without the, um, without the yellow highlights or the yellow feel is this unit char which is different from this other one. So this 11088 and the other one is 10025. Okay, so what we're trying to do for this final measure is combine this part with the smaller part. And we want the smaller part to be the inverse of the other one. So really it's just um, subtracting 10 from, the, from that integer um, part, right, and then replicating that. So that should then give us this final view here where you have um, the yeses against the um, overall, right, of the ones where, yeah, the yeses against the overall. Okay, so, and that's been replicated for the other two measures as well. So you have likelihood, usability, and that, that's pretty much it. So what I've just added here is just an extra bit on the title where you see the title, there's another extra um, um, KPI of um, smiling faces and um, you know just um, sad faces um, based on the metric again. So what, what I've done here, I've created an interactivity title. So I've created a title for each of the measure. And what we're doing here using a switch statement um, to say, um, if it's within this range, right, then give me a smiley face, I'm um, sorry. So if it's there, that's a smiley face. If it's there, that's a, um, just, you know, basic face. And if it's there, that's a sad face. So those are the um, unit charts that um, we've used um, to to indicate that. And I think that, that that's that's what I've just done here. Right, so if we did that, which is February to May, we have the faces changing. We do March to May, we see, so it's just that extra bit there. Um, so really, yeah, I think that's, that's, that, that that's it. The, um, it's really the replicate function, and I guess this can be reused in different scenarios. So you can just imagine what other things you could actually replicate and um, create really nice um, KPIs or visuals around around that function. So yeah, I mean, if this has been helpful, leave your comments below. If you have um, any um, feedbacks. Any other um, latest custom visuals in the App Store that have resolved this issue around making the star rating more flexible than a scale of five, do leave your comments below as well. Thank you for stopping by. Um, cheers. Bye.